What I love about Ron the most is he makes me laugh. We have so much fun together. Ron and I are like best friends. Ron still gives me butterflies. I love Ron, so it's easy for me to get over and forgive for what happened, especially because I know that he didn't do anything purposely to hurt her. I can't help that I love him. I do want to be with Ron forever. Now, Ron claims he never hurt Victoria and says Alyssa needs to stop spreading lies. He's maintained his innocence from day one. Take a look. Alyssa, she's sneaky, she's controlling, and she's nasty and mean. I cannot stand Ron. I won't subject myself to being around him ever again. Alyssa definitely doesn't want me dating her mom. Carla is the love of my life, and I've never loved anybody like Carla before. <laughs> Alyssa is definitely trying to destroy mine and my daughter, Victoria's relationship. Alyssa has told Victoria that I broke her arm, I broke her rib. I never did anything to Victoria. I said, no, Victoria, he broke your legs, he broke your arms, your ribs were broken, you had hemorrhaging in your brain. I'm not sure exactly what happened to her. We took her to the doctors like all the time, and then they ended up pinning this on me. I was offered two to four years for a plea agreement, and I told him, I'm not taking a plea agreement for something I didn't do. They found me guilty within five minutes. I know that he wouldn't have done it on purpose. I was in contact with Carla until like a year ago. Carla and Victoria started coming over to the house and we would have pizza like on Fridays. Alyssa is jealous of her mom being with me. I have no reason to be jealous of Ron. We've been talking about getting married. Then what? Well, Alyssa, she's never gonna really let me in 100%. Well, joining us now via Polycom is Ron. And you've been listening to everything so far. Yes, I have, unfortunately. I've said I was innocent from day one. There's an affidavit of probable cause uh, that was part of these proceedings. It says, Ron, he stated that he may have done this to Vittoria. He was given a chance to take a polygraph examination to prove this story. Ron stated that he did not need to take a polygraph because he was willing to say that he injured Vittoria. Ron was informed of the consequences of making such a statement. He stated that he was, and he was the one that injured Victoria. When asked if he could promise this would not happen again, he stated that it would not. I've never even said any of that. The DA and the detective, they came to the hospital, and then they were like saying they knew that I did this. And I told them, you know, I didn't do it. And they said, well, you have DUIs and we know you're a drug addict. And I said, no. And they just kept yelling at me. And I said to them, whatever, whatever you say. They kept saying that I did it, I did it, I did it. They were yelling at me. So finally I said, whatever you say. Why would you do that if you didn't do it? Because I was tired of arguing with them. Were you drinking a lot at the time? Here and there, yeah, I guess. Were you an alcoholic at the time? Yes. How do you know you, you didn't get drunk and do something? Because I'm not like that. And as far as drinking, there, there's days where I would drink maybe three, maybe six, maybe on a weekend or something, nine. You know, if you, you drink one, two beers a week, you're considered an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the things I look at from a forensic standpoint of piecing these things together when I've been in that situation is... When you were arrested, when you went away, the injuries stopped. There were no more injuries to this child. Well, I don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. I know it don't look good for me, I understand that. But you know, maybe somebody else was hurting her and then when I had to take the fall for it and they put me away, maybe they stopped. That's certainly possible. 